Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming review of Huawei Y7 Prime or Y7 Pro 2019. In terms of hardware specs, both of these devices they are exactly the same. The only difference is that Y7 Prime 2019 comes with a fingerprint scanner while it is not available on Y7 Pro. So we are going to play a few of the most high-end heavy graphics game on this device and then we will see that how good is the gaming performance of Huawei Y7 Prime smartphone. And along with the gaming performance we will also have a look on the battery performance and whether the device is going to get any heating issue or not. So the games today we got here they are Injustice 2, Sport 9, Shadow and Legends, PUBG Mobile and Hitman Sniper. So right now battery percentage is 45. CPU temperature is 31 degrees Celsius and battery temperature is 29. So now let's start playing the games. First of all, let's start with Injustice 2. So the volume is full. So you can see that frame drops are happening right from the beginning. Now it's a bit smoother. The graphics quality is quite good even though there were some frame drops in the beginning and now it's pretty smooth, no frame drops or lagging is happening as you can see. Once again there was a frame drop. So the performance of Huawei Y7 Prime 2019 while playing Injustice 2 was quite good considering the hardware specs we got in the beginning. There was some frame drops, some lagging, but after that it was quite smooth most of the time and the graphics quality was really nice. So now let's play some other game. Let's play Sport 9. So here in the graphics settings you can see that I have selected as high quality and now let's play Sport 9. So you can see that the graphics quality is nice and there is no frame drops or lagging happening. So here on a sport line as well, the gameplay is pretty smooth, no frame drops or lagging, graphics quality is great as well as you can see here. So now let's go back from here to Injustice 2. And you can see that the game is restarted. It got force closed because I started playing 
and another heavy high-end graphics game as part 9 so because of that reason the 3 GB RAM was not sufficient to keep the game in the background and run the Asphalt 9 side by side. So if I go back from here to Asphalt 9, let's see whether it's going to be there or it got forced closed as well. So Asphalt 9 is there. So at least one game you can play high and heavy graphics game and you can use some lightweight apps like some social media application, etc. along with the game and hopefully it won't be forced closed. But you cannot play two high and heavy graphics game side by side on Huawei Y7 Prime 2019 because of the 3GB RAM or poor memory management, whatever you would like to call it. And now let's play Shadowgun Legends. So here in the game settings, you can see that the graphic detail is selected as ultra high and FPS as 60. And now let's play the game and let's see whether we are going to get a lag free gaming experience of Shadowgun Legends on Huawei Y7 Prime or Y7 Pro 2019. So a bit lagging is happening and also some frame drops. So the graphics quality is quite okay, it's not so great but it's still good considering the hardware aspects of this device. So you can see that gameplay is not so smooth, graphic quality is okay, good amount of details is coming but gameplay is not so smooth and because of that I'm facing a bit of issue in playing the game, it's lagging now and then. But if you are going to play this game on regular graphics quality and 30 fps then gameplay will be quite smooth because we are playing right now this game on ultra high graphics quality at 60 fps still it is capable of running the game and it's playable it's, there is frame drops or lagging but still you can play so the gaming capability of the device is good for sure but while playing high and heavy graphics game, as you can see, at 60 FPS it's lagging it. Now let's play Hitman Sniper. So here in the graphics quality setting, you can see that once again it is selected as high. And this one is also a high and heavy graphics game. Distance, you have ballistic advantage. Our client enjoys creativity. 
so look for inventive ways of dispatching them. Use your own discretion, 47. The choice of approach is up to you. So you can see there was slight frame drop when I shot the guard. So you can see that the graphics quality is really nice, lots of detail and now there is no frame drops or lagging, there was just a minor frame drop once, now everything is looking perfect and smooth as you can see here. So even while playing Hitman Sniper performance of Huawei Y7 Prime or Y7 Pro 2019 was quite good. And now let's play the last game for today and that's PUBG Mobile. So you can see that based on the hardware specs of Huawei Y7 Prime or Y7 Pro, PUBG Mobile has selected the low graphics quality by default and I cannot make any changes. And here in the graphics settings, the graphics quality is selected as smooth. I cannot select HD or HDR or Ultra HD, but I can select balanced. So I'm going to select balanced instead of smooth. And the frame rate is selected as medium by default. So a bit of lagging is happening. You can see some frame drops just happened. But the graphics quality is nice. Lots of detail in everything as you can see here. The leaf, the cross, the objects, the sky, everything is so much in detail. So once again you can see that lots of detail is there in everything, all of the objects.
So you can see that some frame drops are happening. So you can see that the graphics quality is nice and the gameplay is quite smooth as well. The camera angles are changing quickly. No frame drops or lagging is happening that happened in the beginning of the game. So I'm just trying to give you an idea that if you're going to play PUBG Mobile on this smartphone, so how good or bad will be the quality. I'm not so good in playing this game, just want to give you an idea about the gaming capability of the device, how it's smooth will be the gameplay while I'm changing the camera angles now as you can see that a bit of lagging is happening but the graphics quality is nice for sure So most of the time the gameplay on Huawei Y7 Prime 2019 or Y7 Pro 2019 is quite good. There was a bit of frame drop and lagging while playing Shadow and Legends. On Injustice 2 a bit of a very minor frame drop happened just once. Most of the time it was really smooth and the graphics quality was nice as well. While playing a Sniper, Hitman Sniper everything was nice and smooth. No frame drops, no lagging and the graphic quality was really nice. And when we are talking about the PUBG Mobile as you can see just now some frame drops happened. But most of the time it's quite good and smooth as well. But the graphic quality is really nice even on PUBG Mobile. So if you are a gamer and you are going to get this phone so you will be able to play most of the heavy graphics high end games without much issues. But obviously as you can see that it's not a high-end smartphone so there will be some frame drops or lagging for sure while playing high-end heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. But if you're a casual gamer you will be happy with the performance of this device. And if you have a look on the battery status right now so battery percentage moved to 34 from 45 after playing all of these high-end heavy graphics game for nearly 35 minutes. And the CPU temperature is right now 41 degrees Celsius and the battery temperature is 36. So it increased a bit but not so much and considering the battery performance it's really nice and impressive because we were playing all of these high end heavy graphics game for nearly like 35 to 40 minutes and the battery percentage moved to 34 from 45. And when we are talking about the battery temperature and the CPU temperature it's not so much as well. It's a bit high 39 degrees Celsius 36 right now. But the good part is that it is not affecting the gameplay and the device is still at the normal temperature. The back panel is still at normal temperature. The only drawback is since we got just 3GB RAM in this device, you won't be able to do lots of multitasking while playing high-end heavy graphics game or play two high-end heavy graphics games side by side on this device. Other than that, everything looks really nice and impressive. While playing high-end heavy graphics game on Huawei Y7 Prime 2019, so that's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in an another video, have a nice day.